Good morning, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be swapping out an old rewirable fuse board for an RCBO board uh, for underfloor heating and fitting a new programmable room stack. So let's jump straight into it. So that is the board there. There's five circuits and a spare way. This is a puppet that I've been working at before. So we've got to put some new tails in down to those Hanley blocks which I've already prepped up ready. Um, and then we're going to put a six way RCBO board in. So, the first thing I'm going to do is whip the cover off that board. We'll identify which room each circuit feeds um, and then take it from there. So, there's the inside of that 3036 rewindable fuse board with the cover off. We can see that there's five underfloor heating circuits, um, and one of them in particular, as you can see, there it's got some thermal damage so that one looks like it's been overloaded so what we're basically going to do is just operate the thermostats and see if we can identify which room each one controls um, and then we can label it up and work on each circuit separately so the first thing we're going to do is zero out the meter I've connected my leads together I'm showing less than zero so press the test button and that's the meter zeroed. So I'm across the neutral there and then I'm going to test across each individual underfloor heating mat. Then the resistance will tell us which one is turned on. This is the whole one. I'm going to turn this up. Just heard it click. So the biometallic strips clicked in. Let's go and test which one it is. No. 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 Yes. So there we have 37.2 ohms. So number five is the hole. So that was the whole one, I've just turned that off. This is the one in the kitchen. So I'm going to turn that one to full. And then go do a test on that one. So we know it can't be that one. It's not that one. And it is that one. So if we go down to the meter, heard it click. 75.4 rounds. So circuit number three is the kitchen. And now we're just going to repeat that process on every single thermostat until we identify the remaining three circuits. Right, we're just testing the circuit with some thermal damage there. So that circuit is giving us a reading of 12.4 ohms. So I've already put that in the book. So there's all the readings for all the circuits. And as you can see, the lounge is the biggest circuit. And we've got a reading for the resistance across the underfloor heating of 12.4 ohms. Okay, so they've all tested out reasonably well. So I've just marked up the cables there. So we've got five, four, three, to one put those on the ends there as well you're easy enough to see where they come through there now that's the old board off just untwisted all the conductors we had the towel radiator feed coming through the back of that board into that fuse connection unit so i'll whip that off i've got a six-way board so i can pop a six amp breaker on for that separately to make life easier and it kind of keeps all the heating together so that's ready prepped up we'll get the new board prepped up and get that banged on right so we're fitting a new hager board we've just took the main incomer out taken the knockout out what i always do now is just file off any rough bits at the back and then i'll put the um i'm trying a new plate today so where are they i'm going to try these from hager um so that I don't have to fill in the back 
um, and my cable entry will be through there, so we'll put one of those in. Right, there's the new board mounted, level, leveled up, leveled it with the next one across. Um, got all the cables through, use that blanking plate there, or back plate, easier than the grommet strip that comes with the board. So now we're just ready to get our tails through, there's the tails knockout. So that has this little fellet, um, and then we're ready to uh, connect that up. Right, so just putting the tails in, done the neutral. Uh, so I've marked up 15 and 20 mil there because 15 mil is the length of stripping that it says in the back of the board. So what I do then is use the Nipex Ergo strip, I think it's called, which is perfect for stripping tails. So we just pop that around there at the right level, strip the outer. I'll show you. So now I've scored the outer insulation. Very difficult to do it's holding the camera so there you can see that and I'll strip the outer one there I've got a little score mark just there so I'll pop that back on line that up twist that and strip those so there it is nice and neatly stripped with about five mil above so all I've got to do now is pop that into the terminal now I've got my tails dressed in and my 16mm earth. So we just cut them slightly long to fit into the Henley blocks. Uh, and what I find with that little plate there now is to uh, it's much easier to slide it on afterwards and just clip it into place and then you're not fighting with it the whole time. I've just moved my neutral down to this side because it gives me a bit more room here to work my functional neutrals a little bit short on the cables there but that's fine we've got that back plate in which is better than the grommet strip um main tails into the switch disconnector so let's crack on with wiring up the rcbo's here we are now with the board roughly dressed in i've only got three rcbo's because city electrical didn't have any more I've stripped back the worst of the insulation on that one that looked damaged there. The insulation has gone very brittle. We'll get the tails on in a minute uh, and fire this up. Right, I'm going to do a quick voltage test now. So, and then we can practice some Ohm's law. So we've got that. We've got the meter. On volts so we're saying 247 248 so doing a quick calculation here using ohm's law v equals ir therefore i equals v over r 247 divided by 12.4 which is the resistance of the lounge circuit 19.9 amps let's look at the clamp meter and see what that says so i've just got circuit number two turned on clamp meter 19.93 amps 19.91 19.90 isn't it wonderful when ohm's law works right there's the board as finished as i can do it today i've got it all labeled up i'm short of two rcbo so i've got to come back and fit those we've moved the tower radiator into this board seeing as the cable was coming from there Okay, picked up the remaining RCBOs, so that now is the inside of the finished board. Ready to start swapping out some thermostats. Right, that's what we're going to be fitting programmable room thermostat in every room. That fits in a 35mm back box. And there's what we've opened up. So 
we've got a 25 mil back box but a bit of plaster so we'll clean that out and see if we can squeak it in if not we'll have to uh, put a deeper back box in and there is the finished thermostat so that is a room programmable thermostat so that sets the temperature and the on off period that's all nice and neat next to the other one all matching um, and then you can see the new tails the Henley blocks they're all clipped now earth clipped warning label on um, so fairly pleased with that